In just a few short weeks, the Friday night lights will shine once again at high school football stadiums across the state. Josh Short was in Boyle County today talking to players with one goal in mind, taking home another state championship. Before the players take the field for the first game of the season, there are countless hours of hard work and team bonding. The Boyle County Rebels have had a good streak, and it takes a lot to keep that going. You know, we talk all the time about coach-led or player-led, and, and, you know, coach-led teams can be good, but player-led teams can be great, and the last three years we've had great leaders that have stepped up every year. Ask any of the players who say being on this team means having a community of fans giving them a reason to keep grinding. I'm lucky to uh, be here. I love being a Rebel because every Friday night you've got, you've got the stands are packed, and, um, you know, it's a great atmosphere, and the community always shows up for you every Friday night. Like any sport, the players walk away with more than a trophy. They build crucial skills both on and off the field. It's a bond. Everybody bonds together. You learn to work with others. You don't, it's not individual. Everybody works together. You're just going to come every day, get better. Everybody's going to work hard. Everybody's doing what they're supposed to do. We're, we're here to make each other better, and so, so we do every day. One player is even balancing two of his passions at once. I enjoy football, but I absolutely love theater and the uh, the performing arts. That's what I've always loved. But I'm, I'm glad I can do both, you know, football in the fall and uh, the musical and acting in the spring. I'm, I'm grateful. The season is still to be determined, but one thing's for sure, community support is strong. They, they care about uh, getting a Boyle County t-shirt and wearing it around. It, football means something uh, to this community, and, and it, our, our guys have that. That's what we're playing for every week. In Danville, Josh Short, Fox 56 News.